Hi, welcome to my video. Today we're talking about SimonAroberts.com, which is also ntp.snails.email. It will also be ntp.labs.coop at some point. I don't know why it's not loading, but anyway. Um, okay, for starters, you can add any sort of NTP service into here by putting the host name here, or Telephonus is your reporting namespace information. The company that runs it, registration number, and URL. This is an API, so it will output in raw PHP, JSON, Serial, or XML. Now, there's a couple of things on this. For starters, this will output an ntp.conf, or for pooling, ntp.conf. Now, there's two ways of accessing that, um, either on the backup or on um, directly over the API. I've just increased this machine's CPU and memory capability for those that have been running this script and it's not been working. But um, this script here, you can alter it if you want, um, will allow for you to basically periodically update your NTP conf using curl. There are RSS feeds, the current top services, that's 20 in the feed, worst services in the top 20, and new services in the top 20. These are the feeds available on it, um, either by pool or by online. I'll show you these in a second. So it comes in serial, PHP, which you use eval to include straight in, XML, as well as JSON. Now the source code for this, you will find here. For this actual, if you wanted to run this API that I've got here, if you find the source code for it, it's just here. Like so. Now, there's a couple of different ways of accessing the data on this. There is here a database backup. This one, for some reason, is not updating, so I'll show you the SourceForge one. Here, this is week, number of the week in the year, the year, and the month. And the day number. So we'll go to today, shall we? Now, I'll show you this. I've just noticed, I've gone through here, this is why I've increased the speed, speed because online JSON is empty. That's a complete online. That's the NTP services that are currently online. Off companies, that's NTP services that are offline. Well, that's the companies that are offline. Offline JSON. So that's all empty. See, my problem is these the list is becoming so big. Um, so I'll go here. Pull one. That even the NTP conf isn't periodic after you see how it's empty currently. But you'll find the online data is at 32, which is pull one of 32, which, for example, is checksum of the item, the key, the type, the pool, host name, So, for example, this would be if you had 32 pools, which is the ma maximum amount of pools there is in NTP. This would be all the items you would include in pool 32, in pool 1, 32, which is normally zero.
Don't tell me I've just run out of data in the middle of recording my video. Alright, so you got the first the key for it, title, host name of it, pool. This is the um, the name of the submitter. Company, URL, webmaster, so no company RBN details, so on and so forth. Ping, previous ping, next ping, when the next report's been sent to it, when the report was last sent to it. Um, when it was last checked that it was online, how much uptime it's been measured for so far, updates. Now, there's a couple of things at the end. Uh, see, that's the key there. Time zone, what it is, UTC. There's an alias, which is what you generally use to refer to it, uh, because this data, like I know, is serving over further distance than um, the network's cable and broadcasting because of my zone own level and how common I am. So for example, just say ntp.org was accessing it. There's an alias wildcard where they can go ntp.org.2e2e 059d.pool.ntp to call to that thing. Um, just in case it's out of range for it where the services are. It will always transpose for it because of how cold those domains are, which uh, my exposure to free fall temperature is 20 285 billion dollar which is the next measurement below negative 9999 Kelvin. So these, for example, uh, services, obviously Steph's added in. Gaming companies and stuff. You can refer to them directly if you want, this sort of thing here. You don't have to. The list is becoming so vast that um that the service just not coping on the basic um, droplet I've got running on DigitalOcean. So just today I've upgraded the CPU and memory of the machine that does this. So hopefully it'll all come back and be fine for the moment. So the best way of accessing this is probably at the moment either through downloading the SVN and going to the last one and just trawling through them to find out where the data is or directly over the actual interface here. Right, I'll show you this in the time I've got. Let's see what Let's spit out this for us. Now, implementing this, you don't have to implement directly off the ntp.conf. This is for advanced users. The best way of implementing it is to follow this instruction just here. Which you find all these services here are running. So if you were going to implement it in ntp.conf, normally you would do it at this pool in here, as well as this pool here, as well as this pool here. Any one of those three. But generally at least simonaroberts.com. Like so. Um, if you're implementing on Windows or servers or routers and stuff, just at the base level. simonaroberts.com is your source or ntp.snails.email is your source. You can use a pool, 
but they're not pinpoint accuracy. They run before and after the time, which is how we know ours is running better than NTP.org, because all their pools seem to reflect the exact same time all the time. They're not meant to do that. They're actually meant to deviate and balance. So there you go.